let's do a really quick little demo how to make a shadow for this figure and I'm not really going to edit this it's going to be kind of raw so we can see here that's kind of the shadow that we want it's very simple actually so the first thing you need to do is get your background and drop it onto the timeline and then you take what you're going to make the shadow of and I just want to cut a little bit of it off to about there. We get rid of the soundtrack, go to the other end and maybe cut that last little bit off there. Okay, now you put it on top of the photo and make sure that they are the same length. So here we go. Now the first thing you need to do is to go into Fusion and you need to color key out that green so go into tools mat delta keyer you get your eye drop drop it in there pretty nice now we go back to this and you can see your guy floating around but you've got a little bit of an edge to that so you need to crop it so you just crop out a little bit of the left and the bottom not too much off the bottom there you go now you take this you just raise it up one so you get your figure here and all you need to do now is just make it a little bit smaller and then maybe place it exactly where you want to start you have to do this before you make your shadow maybe a tiny bit higher there we go. Now you take this, Command C, Command V, and you make a copy of it. And you drag it underneath, and you have to make sure that they are exactly lined up with each other. You see that they're not quite, we'll put this one in the right place, that one in the right place. Otherwise, the shadow won't quite work. Okay, now you take that second one and you go here and you flip it. And then you see you get another version of it. What you need to do is unlink these in terms of size. And then you take the y-axis and you shrink it down. And then you take your position y and you drop it right underneath so that it looks like a shadow. And if you want, you can make it slightly larger if you want to kind of uh, change the size of that shadow. And then that will stay consistent. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can do that and then just adjust it. Okay, there you go. That's the first part. You're almost done because when you go through it, you'll see it kind of goes along with it. Now you need to go into the color. And you go to here, saturation, and you totally desaturate it to zero. That way you don't see any color in it. Go back to the main screen. Knock your opacity down just a little bit. And then when this is highlighted, you want to go into Fusion. And you want to give it a little bit of a blur. So make sure that your shadow is highlighted here. Right there. And there's two sets because that's the earlier one. So make sure that your shadow is highlighted. You open this, you open up Blur. Open up Blur. Double click on it, you get fast Gaussian blur. So you put in a keyframe and then put your blur up to maybe about oh, somewhere around 10. And then you drag this to the end and you put the blur up to maybe 20 because it's going to be up in the air, it's going to be blurrier. So now you go back to your original and you can see your shadow. 
Yeah. <laughs>